the next thing to keep you going and to keep you cooking is going to be iced coffee. I have a little shaker cup, but you can just mix it with a spoon or you can use a blender. But this is what you get. Now you know you want some. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Some people make their iced coffee with what's left over in the pot from this morning, but that's kind of bitter because coffee that was hot and then sat gets kind of bitter. So we're just going to start our coffee cold, and by doing that, you get a much better, smoother flavor. So what I do is I fill, this is just a Tupperware, I fill it with water. You can see here, iced tea bags, you can get them at the tea store, they're the large ones. And I have a little funnel here. Just stick that in there so I don't make a mess. And any coffee that you have. I even use, this I just happened to get for a gift, so I'm going to use it up. But you can just buy the store brand, the generic, the Folgers, whatever's on sale. Doesn't matter because it's going to be delicious. Okay, you just pour it in until the bag is full. I fold it over a couple times. And then a couple little staples, ice, or cold water just out of the faucet, and I drop it in there. And for something this size, it's going to take three of those bags. That's how I make my morning coffee. Seriously, don't waste your expensive coffee beans on this, because making it like this out of the cheap stuff, it's still going to be delicious. You can get them a little wet so they sink down a little bit. the lid on and then I just set it on the counter overnight or make it in the morning and by tomorrow it's ready or make it today and by tomorrow morning it's ready just set it on the counter every whenever I walk through the kitchen I just give it a little shake mix it up you can see it's already starting to get dark the iced coffee's been sitting about a half an hour I'm just gonna have um, it's kind of hard so I'm gonna have Chuck give it a little shake give it a little shake See, now it's getting darker. Okay, that's good, thanks. And, and I just pour it in there, so when I'm ready, a little goes in the cup. White chocolate mocha, a flavored creamer, some ice, shake it up. And seriously, it's just like you get at you know where. Just as good, and you know what's in there. A lot less sugar, a lot better for you. Mm-hmm. That's it.